Seems like AI is all anybody is talking about these days. So I asked ChatGPT to pick up my outfits for a full week and we're gonna judge them and see if it did a decent job. An AI help you get out of a fashion funk, maybe come up with more outfits you hadn't thought of before. Let's get into it. So what I did for this experiment is I literally just fed ChatGPT what I was gonna do for the day and to help me come up with my outfit ideas. So first day was a work from home day and I was pretty specific. I said, I wanna do something that's comfortable yet stylish and casual yet chic for a sunny day in Arizona. It immediately spit out seven things that I should consider for my outfit. The first is a lightweight flowy blouse, which I thought actually made sense. Something loose fitting made of breathable fabric to keep you cool throughout the day. I really like that because it seems totally comfortable. It also said comfortable bottoms like tailored shorts or a midi skirt. Again, lightweight materials. I went on to suggest things like accessories, a cardigan to layer. It even made a mention on my hair and makeup look for the day, saying that I should opt for a natural makeup look and style my hair in a comfortable yet chic way like a messy bun or loose waves. So based off of this, here's what I came up with. I found this lightweight sweater, which I recently got and I am literally loving it because it's like the perfect spring slash summer transition. It's just a very, very light knit. If you don't like the black and white, I do think there is also like a green stripe version as well. What's interesting is that when I originally got the sweater, I had envisioned it with like black shorts or denim shorts or maybe even jeans, but I never would have thought to style it with a midi skirt. I don't know why, but that just hadn't entered my head. So for day one, I actually was fairly impressed because it created a new outfit that I wasn't necessarily considering based off the guidelines that ChatGPT came up. Also made mention of sunglasses and I said I was working from home, so I don't know why I would need to wear sunglasses with my outfit. And I also don't feel like I need a light cardigan or shawl on top of a light weight sweater, especially since I said, again, that I'm staying from home and I'm in Arizona where it's really hot. The second day's suggestion was actually pretty similar to the first, and you're actually gonna notice some common threads, but we're gonna go over all of them at the end of the video. I had a weather shift, it was 55 with a high of 66, so I told AI this, and it mentioned that it would be mostly cloudy. Again, my agenda was working from home, but I did have a midday meeting. It suggested a lightweight sweater or cardigan, specifically a soft material like cotton or cashmere, and I like that it gave me fabric suggestions because right away, I have some ideas in my head of like what might work with this. It said comfortable pants or jeans. You already know I'm gonna dock a point off for that because I really don't see how working from home sitting all day in jeans is comfortable, but okay, we're gonna keep going. Then it suggested a layer top. Personally, I'm out. I feel like a layer top is a little bit too much. It's not that cold. And cozy socks, which I really appreciate the suggestion. I love cozy socks and I feel like cozy socks can basically be worn year round. For day two, I ended up putting together this brown cashmere sweater, which I got from Lily Silk with brown trousers. These are from Amazon. They're very, very popular wide leg trouser that you might have seen before. And like always, I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Since it said cashmere that kind of like stuck in my head. So I went through my cashmere sweaters and that's what I was gravitating towards. And so I ended up doing just like this monochromatic look. And like yesterday, I will say that this is not an outfit that I had put together before. I've worn this sweater with other things, but I haven't styled this particular sweater with these trouser pants. So that was kind of refreshing. As far as layering, again, I feel like I need to dock off a point for that because I don't need, especially here, I don't need to layer under a cashmere sweater that just is way too hot for this time of year. I also liked how it said, accessory suggestions, like a necklace that's delicate or stud earrings and the cozy socks. You know, I love a pair of cozy socks. So I thought that that one was a really good suggestion. Comfortable pants, of course, trouser pants, they have elastic on the back of the waist, Great alternative to jeans when working from home. This is a look that I would rewear just like the first day. So, so far we're doing pretty good. The third day I had a little bit of a different agenda. I mentioned that I'd be working from home in the morning, but I had some errands to run later in the afternoon. So springtime is like cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon. So I needed something that would be versatile. And ChatGPT said they would give me a versatile suggestion that balances comfort and style. And I am all here for that. It suggested first a lightweight top, specifically a short sleeve, blouse or a cotton t-shirt in a light color to reflect the sunlight. Comfortable bottoms such as jeans, leggings, or lightweight trousers. Noticing some themes by the way, 
We're definitely gonna get into that a little bit later in the video, but stick with me. It says open toe shoes are slippers and light layers. And if you haven't noticed already, every single day it's suggested that I keep a lightweight cardigan or shawl nearby in case it gets cold. So ChatGPT must really think that it's like freezing in my house. It has a separate section on the afternoon running errands piece where it's saying that I should have a transition piece, a lightweight jacket or a kimono. This is like immediately no. It is a high of 82 in Arizona. That's way too hot for a lightweight jacket or kimono. So I really don't know where that idea came from. It says comfortable shoes, which makes sense. Obviously I'm gonna change out my indoor shoes for my outdoor shoes and to not forget accessories like a sun hat, sunglasses and a crossbody bag. So day three, I ended up with a, this cotton t-shirt, jeans, and a sweater styled over my shoulders. Again, this is not a look that I probably would have put together if it wasn't for the suggestion. But I was really trying to keep in line with what it said. And it said a cotton white t-shirt and jeans, and I just kind of got that in my head. And I kept thinking about the transition piece. And what if you're out running errands and it gets cold later? Well, that's where a lightweight sweater like this can come in, throw it over your shoulder, but then you can actually layer it on and use it later. The sweater over my shoulder is actually a beautiful cashmere sweater from Quince with my eight goldie straight leg jeans. These jeans are really, really nice if you're looking for a straight leg jean that's not quite as skinny, but not super wide leg. I definitely recommend these. And honestly, this ended up working out really well. I will say I did not end up wearing this at home all day long because again, I just cannot get on board with jeans while sitting at my desk, but it was cute for the experiment and for doing some errands. All right, so the weather kind of shifted and I did mention that I'd be working from home all day, but that it was gonna be rainy and a high of 59. And even though I'd be inside all day, I wanted it to feel cozy. And here's what it suggested. A soft oversized sweater, something cozy like wool or cashmere. It specifically suggested a neutral color like cream, gray, or beige for a timeless and versatile look. Then it suggested comfortable bottoms like leggings, joggers, or fleece lined pants. Definitely going for cozy vibes. And it would be too hot for fleece lined pants and not cold enough for leggings, so I thought, all right, I'll do a sweater and joggers. And hair accessories, I thought this was particularly interesting because this is the first time that it told me to accessorize my hair with either a soft headband or a knitted beanie. I obviously am not gonna do a knitted beanie, it's not that cold, but I thought the headband suggestion was really cute. Optional, and this is the only day this week that I got an optional outfit idea, and it said, a lounge set. And listen, I don't need any excuse not to wear a matching lounge set, which is exactly what I ended up putting together for this day's outfit. I have worn this outfit before just like this with the headband. So this is definitely a repeat, which is okay with me. Obviously we repeat our outfits, but it was nice that it laid it all out for me. And then at the end gave me this optional lounge set. I thought that was really interesting. And I just ran with that. So this particular day was really interesting because I said I'd be filming from a YouTube channel and it was very specific on what I should be wearing for this. So it said, since I'm doing something for a fashion channel, I wanna wear something stylish on trend and reflective of my personal style. It needs to look great on camera. All very true. First thing it suggested was a statement top that stands out on camera. A deep blouse with ruffles or statement sleeves, a chic bodysuit, or a stylish graphic tee featuring a fashion-related slogan or design, which I am not into graphic tees at all, and I would never wear that, but that's okay. It's not perfect, and it makes sense that it's making suggestions that you can pick one or two of them that might fit with your style. Next up, fashionable bottoms, like high-waisted jeans or trendy wide leg pants. Yeah, you're right, that is what's really trendy right now. Or a stylish skirt and a flattering silhouette. Right away, I'm already thinking, okay, you want me to wear flare jeans, wide leg jeans, and a very big, here I am, top. It goes on to the accessories, and this is where I feel like it kind of tripped up a little bit. Elevate your outfit with carefully selected accessories, like statement jewelry, bold earrings, layered necklaces, or stackable rings. I'm off the bat thinking, wow, this is a lot. I've got stackable rings and statement earrings and a big poofy top. Like we've kind of got a lot going on here. And I feel like personally from my fashion sense, we got to exercise a little bit of restraint. This is where it gets interesting. The last suggestion was to consider the background. It said, keep in mind the background of your videos and choose an outfit that contrasts it nicely. Avoid wearing colors or patterns that may clash with your filming setup. 
I have to say, I feel like that last point was really, really interesting. I do try to avoid patterns and colors that clash with my setup. However, I don't typically try to contrast it. I typically like to do a look that blends in a little bit more. Here's what I came up with. So today's an exception because I'm in my office. Usually I'm downstairs and I have a little bit of a background with white and blush pink. And if you look at the color wheel, the opposite of that is actually green. And green is not cover alert that I wear very often or on camera, but I do happen to have this absolutely gorgeous, it's like an olive green satiny top. It is amazing. It is very much has a statement sleeve. It's backless. I believe it's on sale right now as well with a matching skirt. And I have worn this with a flare jean outfit, which I feel like accomplishes the look that ChatGPT suggested, right? statement sleeves, statement bottoms. I did not need to go heavy on the jewelry because again, I'm exercising my personal judgment and feel like that's a little bit much. Said, I don't feel like green is part of my brand colors, so I actually wouldn't wear this for a YouTube video most likely. And I probably would have done this bell sleeve top, which I wore, I think in last week's video, actually. It's like this beautiful cream shade. It also has absolutely gorgeous sleeves. And I think I would have worn something like this instead. I do wish that just saying contrast your background, it could have been a little bit more specific because today, for example, I'm in my office and my background is white. So in today's case, I would have been wearing a black top and yeah, black contrasts white, but it doesn't necessarily show up great on camera, which is why I don't wear it. I like if it would have given some suggestions like that. If you don't know, that would have been really, really helpful. Now we're out of the weekend and I had my son's baseball game in the morning and I said, it's going to be sunny and in the low to mid sixties during the game. And after that, it's the weekend. We're going to run errands and chill. What is a cute yet casual outfit? And here's what it had to say. First, it wanted something practical, but still looks cute. I'm on board with that. Then it suggested a denim jacket. Easy. It's easy to layer. I'm totally down with the denim jacket idea. I can definitely do that. Then it suggested a graphic tee or baseball tee. Unfortunately, I am just not a graphic tee type person or a baseball tee type person. So this one was definitely like a no-go for me immediately. But that's okay. I can do a denim jacket with a t-shirt, right? We don't have to take it all so seriously. It's just giving us ideas. Next up, it suggested comfortable jeans or shorts. And at this point, I'm out. I know that some people like the denim on denim trend and if that's fine, then like, okay, fine, you do you, but I am not gonna put on a jean jacket with jean shorts. Like that's just not a good look. And that one that I would suggest, so I was totally out by then. It goes on to suggest sneakers, slip-ons, a baseball cap. So I kind of discarded this one altogether. I literally was like, no, you're fired. Here's what I wore instead. It was a little bit cooler. I ended up going with cargo pants, sneakers, cute t-shirt, crossbody, and a hat, of course, for good sun protection. I feel like this outfit is definitely much more on a trend night right now. So it's something that you might already have in your closet. It's perfect for running errands. It's perfect for a casual Saturday and it's really comfortable. I tend to sit on the ground sometimes with a picnic blanket when I'm at the game and I wanna be able to move freely and I'm not really able to do so as much in jeans or jean shorts and like I said, I was just not having it with the jean jacket and jean short suggestion. And we're on to the last day finally. So on the last day, I said that it was cloudy and 58 because it was, but around noon, it was gonna get sunny with a high of 71. I said I'd be working from home, but then had errands and I wanted to be in something casual but cute. What should I wear? So ChatGPT said to start with a lightweight sweater or cardigan, a breathable top, comfortable jeans or leggings, stylish sneakers or flats, layered jewelry, a crossbody bag, and of course, let's not forget the shawl or the scarf that it has suggested in literally every single outfit this week. So at this point, I just redirected. And I've noticed that with AI in general, sometimes you have to redirect a little bit and give it more suggestions. So I said, hey, you know what? I don't like wearing jeans when I'm working from home. Can you give me another idea? And it said, of course, if you prefer not to wear jeans, then it suggested a flowy midi skirt, which I love a good midi skirt, a cozy sweater or knit top, layered cardigan. Again, we always got to throw in that layered cardigan, apparently in the knit wrap, simple jewelry, et cetera, et cetera. This I could run with. I can deal with the skirt and the cozy knit sweater suggestion. So I did end up putting together this really cute yellow 
floral midi skirt. I don't have the ability to link this one. It's an older skirt from Abercrombie with this really soft cashmere sweater that I got from Quince. I love this one because it's really lightweight and breathable and it's perfect for springtime because it's not too heavy. It's not too thick. Like some of the earlier outfits, this is something that I might not have put together on my own if it wasn't for these specific guidelines. So a couple thoughts on this experiment. First of all, I noticed that it never suggests dresses. It never suggests a one piece outfit, no dresses, no jumpsuits. Like the only time I got like a one piece outfit suggestion, the day that it told me to do like a matching loungewear set, I noticed that every single day it said a top, a bottom, accessories and all that, and always the lightweight shawl or scarf or cardigan. My goodness, it really wants you to have this. That was something that I noticed right off the bat. I mean, again, this is an AI learning language model, right? So this has been probably trained and maybe that's why, but I don't know if I would have had something like a date night, if then it would have suggested a dress. Secondly, it always had a specific formula as far as like giving tips on jewelry, hair, makeup, shoes. I actually thought that was kind of interesting because I asked what to wear. I didn't ask how I should style the outfit or what everything else should look like. So it's kind of like extra credit in a way to see things like you should wear simple jewelry or you should wear layered jewelry. Another interesting thing about this experiment is that I did end up creating a couple of outfits that I may not have created before, which is cool. That's the point of getting styled by somebody else or just in general is that you can shop your closet and come up with new ideas that you may not have thought of before. So for that alone, I thought this was actually a really fun experiment. That being said, I think we definitely ran into a few hiccups. Like the baseball day was a mess. I really did not want to wear the denim on denim. I also did not want to wear jeans when I was working from home and the YouTube outfit suggestion was Oh, it wasn't terrible, but let's be honest, I'm not gonna wear a statement sleeve every single time I shoot a video. And I felt like that outfit was just too much. It was the statement earrings and a statement necklace and a statement sleeve and fashionable bottoms. And it was like just throwing everything that it could think of. And in real life, that's not what I would have chosen to wear. So all in all, I thought this was a decently fun experiment. I don't know if I would do it again, but I did end up creating some new outfits that I probably wouldn't have thought of before. You know, if this is something that you would try, if you want to see me do it again, what your favorite outfit was, I'd love to hear your comments in the chat below. And I'll see you over on this video next. Bye.